Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Every week I receive so many questions through the website of Islamic Asa Wisdom. Some local, some national, and even many international. One of the questions that has been frequently asked is about music. It's simple, but still a question. Is it halal or haram? We know that the concept of music is very universal. Different countries and cultures and languages, they have their own style of music and sound and songs. There are so many colleges and universities with big art and music departments now in the world. Our Muslim jurisprudence dealing with question of music they have chosen different approaches. Some of them are more conservative and some are more modern or moderate or middle way we can say. We know that the music is not mentioned in the Quran directly but there are some verses that under interpretation for finding clarification for so many questions, including music. One of them in uh, chapter 25, verse 72, karama. Those who do not witness falsehood, and if they pass by some evil play or evil talk, they pass it with dignity. Based on this verse, participation in anything that promotes falsehood and evil expressions is wrong. Also in chapter 22, verse 30, Stay away from wickedness, idols, false words. And also in verse 6 from chapter 31 وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي لَهْوَ الْحَدِيثِ لِيُذِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرَ عِلْمٍ Among men are those who spread meaningless stories to mislead people from the way of God without any knowledge. According to this verse, investment in anything that disconnects man from God, being by money, time, or any other way, is wrong. What matters in music the most is not the tone of a sound or a song, but their message, the impression that they may make in general. And I'm using the word general because there are exceptions for any rule. There are people who may drink lots of alcohol without getting drunk. That doesn't change the rule of alcohol. In other words, the content, the words, the poetry, and the message of a sound or a song matters. Whether that message is misleading or not? Is it strengthening the evil acts of oppressors, praising the corrupt kings, promoting violence and terrorism, as is the case in many cases of music now in Middle East, Africa, and some other parts of the world? Is it pushing men away from his moral thinking and putting him under the submission of his lustful desires. Obviously, these are some clear cases of haram music in Islam. If it is similar to the sound and song played in the places of entertainment that promotes promiscuity, drinking, and sinful sexual relationships like adultery which lead to spiritual negligence and corruption 
and spiritual death, then that is wrong and haram. So it's hard to find a black and white answer for the question of music. Everyone should be a fair judge of music based on the impact of music in his or her soul and also in his or her real life. Is it positive or negative? Is this message constructive or destructive? Music can act like drugs with negative and destructive influences. But music can be also an artful expression of great ideas, emotions, in a very meaningful and harmonious way. There have been people who became Muslim just by listening to a beautiful recitation, a beautiful Quranic song. Here in the United States, there is a new movement in the health care system that there are doctors and nurses who use music to treat their patients. And they are telling us that some patients have been responding very positively uh, to certain musics. So music can be a double-edged sword. It can be either destructive or defending. Some music may provide peace, healing, spiritual connection, inspiration. And when you listen to it, you focus even more on your faith and spirituality. If music moves man towards his Lord, his conscience, and makes him more moral and loving, that should be a good example. That's a good music. But if the music moves man towards his evil appetites and makes him violent and out of control and out of real life and out of real experiences of life, then that's a waste of time. One good Quranic principles that we can apply to every cases, especially the cases of doubt and controversy, from the extents of their benefits or harms. For example, there is some benefits even in alcohol and gambling, at least at the, in the economic level for some people. Through alcohol and gambling, they create jobs and income for companies and individuals. Yet obviously, the harms and damages of these practices uh, on our health and even economic uh, level uh, of the society in general is more than their benefits. They are more harmful than uh, helpful. Everyone who listens to music should be aware of benefits and losses of this entertainment. If listening to music turns to an addiction and distract someone from his studies, his work, and his productivity or reproductivity, then it becomes an example of wasting time. Of course, I'm not talking about those people whose job is uh, uh, music and song. But in general, Islam is a religion of balance in everything, in eating, in drinking, in studying, even balance in prayer. And music is one case that everyone should look at the case of music in a very balanced way and whether it is constructive or destructive. It is harmful or helpful. I hope that based on these few verses and this little explanation I contributed to uh, this question uh, with a little uh, clarification, inshallah. Thank you, and don't hesitate to keep sending your questions through uh, the website of Ask the Imam Islamic House of Wisdom. 
I know there are so many questions and I may not be able to answer all of them on time, but I promise not to ignore any questions. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi